Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're continuing along with this game where it's written right here. Dungeons of Dreadmore, okay. So, right, last time we did tutorial. This time we do everything other than the tutorial, which is to say the real game. And I'm just going to go ahead and say quick levels, permadeath, and hardest difficulty. Because, you know... Why would I be playing roguelikes if I didn't want to make it as difficult as possible? Right, so we actually have to choose some skills. Oh, but we can random. Okay, well if we can random, let's just see what I get. Dual wielding maces, magic training, burglarly uh, archaeo... These all seem pretty good. Alright. Or wait. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's go dual wielding mace man who does some magic and some stealing and some stealing loot, some really historic loot, and then turns it into stuff, uh, melts it, and then makes a helicopter out of it. A helicopter of maces! Alright, so enough bug glassing around. Oh, we could be a little, we could be a red haired version. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna call myself. Oh, what is a heroic, dashing rogue name for moi? Eggbird. That's perfect. Yes, it definitely looks like an egg. So now we gotta we gotta read the story. Hopefully, it's not too long because my voice still isn't completely returned, and I don't want to screw it. In ages long past, great heroes bound the Dark Lord Dreadmore in the depths of the earth that his evil would trouble the land nevermore. Alas, the foul its Dreadmore proved most devious and patient, for he's been loosening his magical bonds, slowly freeing himself to again spread his evil in the world of light. He must be stopped again. Once more it is time, once more it is a time of adventure, of glory. It is the time for a hero. Unfortunately, this hero is you. You have been summoned by the king to prove yourself, to save the land and its people, to join the heroes of legend in victory over the dungeons of Dreadmoor. Clap, clap, whatever. Let's just get started. That was embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so we got food, food. Oh, I just took something. Dang, that's sweet. I didn't know I could just, so I steal stuff from these. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't even have any Zork mids, right? Okay, good. I was just worried. Just checking. Zork mids to my name. So I now I do have Zork mids to my name. Or, no, I don't, but... Loot Fisk. A traditional Norwegian fish product. It's an easier way of instilling fear in their enemies uh, than raiding and pillaging. Wait, what? But Oh. Oh. You know, okay, somebody mentioned, let's let's just say, um, I I think it's Isaloran. I'm going to say Isaloran, unless it's Ulsaloran. Um, I assume you capitalize your name. Ooh, a bookshelf. Potion of Midas. Congratulations me, I know how to become strong like the god himself. Oh, that was something. Uh, Parmeno Oregano. Oh, man. That is nasty. Like... That's the kind of thing I'm scared of even trying to eat, that it might be awful. So what do we got here? Place your equipment on the sacred anvil of Krong. Do I have any equipment? Well, this is technically something. Let me just go ahead and put it on there. He's pleased by me, I suppose. So, I got... Oh man, listen to that music. It's kind of neat little organ playing on there. So now I have Darzar, the semnam Semnambulant Codpiece. Well, that's just fantastic. Let's just get out of here. I don't like the where Krong is going with his choice of words. Wait, what? It's a crude... crude oh, it's a trap I can... Eat. What? Oh, okay. So I guess I can, I can uh, use it on the floor and... and <laughs> nice counter there, dude. Diggle it. Sweet. All right, we'll just go ahead and steal your young, kill, murder the parent, and feast upon the children. Oh, um, 
Oh, this is a shopkeep. And he's trying to kill me. Wait, what? He doesn't look like he's trying to kill me. Um, well, I don't have... Well, again, I don't have any Zorkmids to my name. I, th I assume these are the Zorkmids. My inventory didn't tell me anything about... Oh, but I do have these citrines. So is there anything here that I actually want? I would want... I wonder if I can go back upstairs, because that's something I might want to just kind of work towards. Hmm. And some of this stuff is ridiculously expensive. I mean, what do I have right now? 131. Oh, that's 73. I guess that's not awful. But, ooh, flippy floppies. <laughs> and my flippy floppies. Well, uh, I'm worried that clicking on you is going to, like, attack you. I don't suppose I can, like... I'll give you 241. Yes, go ahead and sell. Oh, all, all of them were that much, huh? Well, dang, I was hoping to get a little more out of it. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get my flippy floppies. Sure, my flippy floppy floppy copies. Is there anything else here that is wearable? Yep, this is good. It's not clear if these pants have ever been washed. Oh well, they look exactly like the ones that I was already wearing, so I'm good to go. Thank you, guy that is trying to kill me, but really isn't, so. But he is definitely sounding like a shopkeeper, look at that. Uh, he will not, yeah, he does not take the shoplifters. I hope my burglary doesn't accidentally go off in such an, on such an occasion. Statue of Inconsequentia. Pray the goddess a side... Oh, that sounds, that sounds awesome. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a side quest. The monster Crutweak the Mangler of Beginnings and his horde of underlings, Lord Dreadmore's 46th flank, must be defeated. Oh, wait, what did that say? The crumbling waffles? Calming waffles. Yeah, they don't sound too hard. I, I think I'll be able to handle that just fine. My... Hmm. Because that was a door I had to pick, didn't it? Wasn't it? Killing me won't bring... Oh, man, you... Diggles, they just... They're, they're mean. They're mean on the... On the, uh... What do you call it? The... The words. It's just... That's just super duper mean, man. It's not cool. Alright, looks like I got... Got some, uh, biceps going on. You must learn a new skill to gain the full level of levelness. Alright. So we got all these things that, we're, that we can potentially learn. Which is fantastic. Um, okay. Smithing, Ingotir, Mechaneer. Right. It belongs in a museum. Send an artifact to the giant secret scare and gain experience equal to its value. Huh. An artifact. So if I find artifacts, I can give it away to help level up. Hmm. Interesting. And then there's also this stuff. And I need to. I need to get. Yes. Effectively use two hands at once. License. Oh yes. And I'm a magic dude. I forgot about that. Vending machine. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, locked doors pose no impediment to your lucky pick. Hmm. Well, I, it looked like I had some lock picks, so I don't have to worry about that right now. I've also picked up something about traps. Huh. <laughs> Dwarven panini presses. I could go for one of those right about now. But I'm wasting time here. Let's just go with uh, let's just go with something simple, like masonry. Uh, and by that I mean using a mace. Oh, is he playing a? He's he's playing Diggle Digglebox. I don't know. Uh, Aqua Vitae, 100% pure alcohol. Dang. Alright, what do we got here? The Nailboard Mark II Prototype. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, there's recipes in this game, and I don't think the game explained that, really. Oh, there we go. But, it's something that we should probably... And the, Yeah, that used one, so I have to be a little careful about handling that. Oh, that took... Okay, so picking up an item takes a turn. It's not like a freebie. Gotcha. Oh, I just Dwarven hand shook you. And we'll go ahead and pick up the egg. And kill this wooden barrel without mercy. I am, however, curious skills, right? This is a skill gives you a chance to hit with an especially damage damaging knockback when using mace class weapons in melee combat. 
I don't suppose I could use mace combat weapons in non-melee combat. Oh man, it's a blobby. I remember blobbies that were elemental that really kind of owned me last time. That was that was not good. So yeah, let's go ahead and steal some stuff. I am digging the st ooh baseball softballs. Excuse me, we're not playing hardball yet. We need we are not in that major league of leagues yet. A carnelian. Uh, oh, is that like a gem? No. Well, it is, but I don't think it's an artifact gem. So yeah, I just love stealing stuff from these things. It's great. Oh, I didn't get the good stuff. I didn't get the good stuff at all. But let's look at our inventory a little bit. My little Anvil Junior Smithing Kit, Disposable Ingot Press, Tinkerer Parts, Lootfisk Kit. Wait, what? When did that happen? That... That was... Herodric Lootfisk... The heck? The heck? Just... What, just like put something in it? Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, goodness. I just turned, uh, one of my Carnelians into, like, Herodric Cube, didn't I? Hold on. I gotta figure this out without wasting something. But I don't have anything to... Well, maybe the softballs. Oh, goodness. So, yes. I can turn stuff into loot fisks. Oh, That'd be nasty, yo. That'd be super nasty. Sickly Diggle. Yeah, let's try to fight these guys one one bit at a time. Dwarven Handshake, not really at the most opportune of times, but not not the worst. I think I'm actually going to have to... Okay, little baddies, I don't think they hurt much. They can't hurt a little bit, though. But let's go ahead and use some Loot Fisks. Oh, God. World oh, God. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. I just... It creeps me out. It really does. Of course, that's, that's the way it's described. It's actually fish, but all the same, it, it still creeps me out. So we got just... I think this is just stuff in atmospheric... So what, are these traps just things I'm able to pick up, or are they actually supposed to go off? I don't know. I gotta say, the music is nice. It's not really getting in the way too much, but it's it, it's providing a nice... Yeah, I don't know, it's just it's weird. It's like I'm disarming all these things without so much as a howdy doody dighty day. <laughs> just picking them all up. Hooey. Oh, ow. Ow, that one hurt. And I think the man said as much. So let's go ahead and eat a bunch of loot fisks. Oh, man. So I can turn any one item in, into a loot fisk, basically, is what the game's telling me. Alright, cool. And I'm getting kind of close to leveling up. And we got mushrooms. Strangely resistant to transmutative energies. Seeping with rich magics. Hmm. Does kind of worry me a little. Oh, that's cool. You gain one point of life every 13 rounds. So that's a one point of mana every 8 rounds. Neato. I can't help but wonder if getting magic training was useless if I didn't also get a magic, like, uh, a magic group to, to actually work with. Ooh, there's some enemies here? What's up with that? And, ooh, Electro Blobby. Okay, that thing could, in fact, cause severe pain. Oh, man. Um. Okay, good. Because I gain one HP for every single time. For every single... So there's no, there's no insta-heals that I know of yet. But there might be. There definitely might be. Oh, that's cool, too, because then you get a free hit on them. All right, good. So I picked something that's good for 1v1s. Oh, loot fisks. You are crazy, you loot fisks. But I have three of these? I don't need three of them, do I? Can I, like, shift? What do I do? I drop it? Yeah, I dropped it. Huh. Is there a way to, like, uh, get only one of them? Oh, there we go. Because I have three. I don't need all three. I have a feeling... Ooh, whoa. You're still kind of a pain in the butt. 
Oh man, please tell me I can kill you without like... Okay, this is surviving okay so far. Oh man, phew! Oh yeah, that was rough. Okay, well this is hardest difficulty if I'm already having trouble on the first floor. I don't know if monsters randomly appear or what. I'll just loot fisk myself up a little bit before moving on to the next place. Or I could just wait a whole bunch. I just used all of them. I didn't, I didn't even know I was clicking all of them. A diggle? Where'd that diggle come from? Oh, sorry, I was reading that. Never mind. Oh, I leveled up. I leveled up from the lockpick. To a meddling kid. Awesome. Hmm. Mace Rehearsal grants the chance to deal a crippling wound. Your offensive abilities, you automatically employ this skill when the chance presents itself. Now, attacks now with all the weapons at the same time. Oh. That's cool. But maybe I should look at something else. You have a license to cast and take away... and, and to take away the right. Oh, this is a spell. Okay. We'll lose their casting for a short amount. I guess that works then. Except I don't have any other spells anywhere. Oh man. Let's try this. Let's try that. It's probably not oh man, and I got all of my health back, so all those loot fisk seedings was useless. So I have this now. Seventy two, what's that like? Uh cooldown? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Do I like drop it here? And then say, send it to the museum. How does this work? Oh, right click. That's right. That work? Maybe I have to do it from the inventory. No, it didn't work there either. Doesn't seem to want to work on something like that. So that's not considered an artifact. In other words. Nor is the gem. I have like three of these. Kind of like. Uh, I don't want to accidentally. Oh. Okay, so Inga lets me do stuff. Oh, it lets me turn that into that. Oh, okay, sure. Why not? We also have ingots that can be turned into bits and pieces of things with my... I don't know, is that the anvil? Oh, that's a tinker parts, and this is the anvil. That makes me pretty neat stuff for ingots. So that's something I'm going to have to look into a little bit later. Ow! What did I just happen? Let myself happen. Your magical energies have been suppressed. Well, that's not horrible. It really isn't. Depending on... Man, I can just pick those up. I don't even have to disarm them, apparently. Just kinda happens. Alright. I'm just get some more lock picks so I don't have to worry about the lock picking this. I wonder what happens when you run out of lock picks and don't have the ability to unlock pick stuff. Softballs. So I got seven this time. I might want to have those available to me, just in case. Ooh, log cheese. My favorite kind of cheese. The kind that's been sitting around in a dungeon for 50 years. Alright, good. Ingots. Ingots, man. Brings me back to WoW. As in, WoW, I can't believe I played that game. Alright, cool. So, another Dwarven Handshake wins of the day. And I don't know if we're getting plastic. Plastic ore! Yes. I am really just picking these up, huh? Figures. Crazy. There's just, there's nothing. I just find them and then I'm good to go. That's, that's that. Alright, Diggle. Your days are matched by my superior stats. Whoa. Did that nest? Oh, that nest got pushed out of the way to make room for a corpse. Shadowy Dwarven IED. Pretty lousy, actually. <laughs> I do love how I'm getting experience just by picking these things up, and it doesn't even. My therapist says this will be good for me. Well, my therapist says that you're no, you're not a cool guy at all. Oh, cool! I found a Hachimaki. I think I saw one of those back in the shop, <laughs> and it really wasn't really doing me anything. So. I lose, wait, what do I, what does this give me? Uh, that gives me quite a bit. Huh. Well, that's a shame, because, well, so two critical, four dodge, three counter. Yeah, well, 
And then if we look at this, this is one melee power and one, uh, oh wow, one full stubbornness. It's not that bad either, but I think, I think the numbers here quantitatively are telling me that it's just better. So yes. And we got Siegfried. He wanders the dungeons looking for revenge. Okay, well. Are you a particularly... Dwarven Handshake is owning this dude. Or... Nah, it pretty much deals the same damage. Just looks like a little more HP than the norms. Than is the norms. Well, let's just go ahead and pick up literally everything I can find. I'll probably end up either selling or dropping. What are you? Uh, uh, come on, there we go. Likes to inhabit... This monster has not noticed my presence. I'd like it to st Oh man, I think he noticed my presence. Oh, and he can totally... I'll be... Okay. Hello, dude. How's it going? The Mangler of Beginnings. Yeah, that sounds a lot like a problem. Let's just try hitting him, I guess. Oh, well I dodged. I don't know how much damage he can deal though. I need to learn how much damage he can deal. A lot of damage. Okay. Um Well let's hope this works. Yes! Oh, that was way too close. It causes crushing, hyperborean, and transmutative damage. Ow. And that's a statue of Dreadmore. Just go ahead and break that thing and become super duper strong for it. Alright, so where is... oh man, where is Krotmonger? Or whatever his name was. And how much do I really have to worry about? Oh, that was nice. Super nice. Okay, well I'm alive. And perhaps I should use this opportunity to uh, restore some of my, my health. Oh, Plum. Oh man, I don't remember which one I came from. I don't know if these things work like like, uh, where it's kind of a pair thing or what, but I'm kind of worried about that, I'll tell you that much. Oh, you don't really need to pick up gold, it just kind of happens. Sweet! Finally! A second mace. I can just stick it right there. And all of a sudden, I have... wait, what? Oh, this has piercing damage, huh? Go figure, right? Go figure. So this gives me caddishness and one of, uh, a thing. I have no idea what that thing is. Uh, maybe life? No, I think... Well, that wouldn't give me life. <laughs> I have no idea, but whatever. Oh, I probably should have... Yeah, I probably should have just left that there and let that dude walk straight into it. Okay. It is quite dead. Deader than a doornail. That is a lot of... Lost wizard keys. This dimensional key bears a mysterious legend, property of Rick the Senile. Wizardly deeds done. Price is driven mad by Eldritch horrors. To visit your personal pocket dimension. Oh. Wasn't that awesome? Now you just leave it. Oh, crap. So I was... Wait, I was just given a pocket dimension? Oh, man. This game is being too kind to me, I think. And I just got an achievement, because that's what, that's what, uh, that's what, that's what Steam loves. I think it was for finding that, actually. I don't know if I was, if I'm super duper lucky for finding that or what. But, that's what happened, and that's, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, wait, what? Did something happen there that I was, should not, should I be more careful about? I don't know. <laughs> oh, whoa, I think I got hit there. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Sometimes a thing happens, and sometimes a thing doesn't happen. But there's all these levers. Oh no, traps have activated. Oh no. Thieving gloves? Do I have gloves even on? Because thieving gloves would help with my burglaring. Which is indicated by this? Sneakiness. Oh. Not waking and with avoiding traps. And also one of this. Trap Affinity. Okay. I can dig it. So let's put those on. Uh, right there. Okay, good. But no... No de actual defense for that. Oh well. <laughs> really, gloves, in most cases, shouldn't protect you, except specifically 
uh, for against hands. Whoa! And I'm like in a pool of poison. I should probably get out of that. Alright, that's two dead, and now we're just... Yeah, it looks like that was actually acid that was hurting me there. And I leveled up. Sweetness! I am getting all over kinds of stuff. But my... Wait, what? Remember your... Archaeology seems like a really weird... stuff. I have... I, I don't even know if I should be... If I should be leveling that at all. Seems almost like a waste of time. Offensive maneuvering. We're gonna go with offensive maneuvering. That looks like just a passive bonus, but what kind of passive bonus is it to? Um, oh man, what, what did it say? Offensive maneuvering. Oh, here we are. Counter chance. Oh, I, so I got some extra counter. And that, I think that's still bubbling out, so we'll have to either wait for it or something. Steal from that fridge. Oh, there's nothing in there? Well, daggity do. Look at all these traps. Look at all these traps. <laughs> An enormous amount of traps here. Weren't there some more levers too? Hold on, let's, let's go ahead and pull all of these. And activate all of them, and pick all of them up. Because I just seem to be godly when it comes to, to levers. Alright. Wait, what? What? <laughs> the mechanistic resting place of Canadians. Canadians love their lockpicks, I guess. Well, I have to admit, uh, who mentioned, uh, uh, Mer Mr. Lalsfa mentioned that clicking to, uh, not accidentally run into traps, that, I'm guessing that it automatically avoids, uh, handling, like, trying to walk over them with the, with the mouse, if that may be. I don't mind too much. Ooh, offensive, oh, and now it's, like, almost gone, right? Dang it. That would have been great to have happened against, uh... Or wait. It seems like it's gonna last for... It's lasting. I don't know how long it'll last for. Maybe I should go check out that Jin man. Again, just to be absolutely safe. Or I could just fight you. I'm just picking up everything. Alright, cool. Very cool. So that's everything here, I think. Right? Yes? Okay, cool. Very nice. I think we're handling foreboding scribble. I see mercury, I think. Apple practice of creation for uh, being a gram of... I, I have no idea, but I got a couple words out of there. That's not half bad. <laughs> it's exactly half bad. Well, maybe it's a little less than half bad. Wait, what? What did he say? He said something cool. Oh man, it's you. Ugh. Do I have like another ranged weapon that I might happen to have for this occasion? I got these. They actually look pretty good, but unfortunately I don't think they work well enough. So we're just gonna throw softballs at you until you get into range. And then we're just gonna pray that I can kinda handle you. Yes! Dwarven Handshake for the win! Alright, um, now let's just go ahead and eat this Danish, because it's delicious. Oh! Wait, he's... is he dead? I guess he's dead. Cartwheat collapses in a pile of gak. Oh, I, de I defeated him! Sweet, so that was actually... man, I wasn't even paying attention, was I? There we go! And all members of Lord Dreadmore's 46th flank. In other words, what, I have to annihilate everybody? Um, ow. Wow, that was... Oh, wait, the remaining members flee in fear. You've defeated the calming waffles. Well, that was convenient. It was very convenient. So where is this stupid inconsequential lady? I think it was a lady, wasn't it? It was a lady statue, at least. So this is a mini-map. Holy crap, I didn't even notice that until now. But where is Le Statue Lady? There you are. That could be a get. Wait, well. Hurry. Just. Yes? Can I pray to you? No, I don't. I don't want to. I already. I completed it, yes? Because I defeated Crotweak the Mangler. That's. 
That's what happened. Please? <laughs> and thank you? I don't know. Maybe there's something left to sort of kind of do. Maybe the fact that they ran away doesn't mean they're actually defeated? Is there any way to scroll? Eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe, maybe this is... Oh! Oh. Okay, so yeah. Right, they're just running away. Or sometimes running away and sometimes not. These guys... These guys are a little painful. But it looks like one member left. Okay. Okay, so where are you... Mr. Last. So the fact that they ran away did in fact mean that they ran away and not that they disappeared from sight forever and ever. And I'm just picking up everything until I run out of space, I guess. A shield! Wait. I don't use shields. I don't use shields. Um. Oh, there you are. That would have to be you. Dwarven handshake. We are best friends. Oh, I got folio, folio you in the fruity philosophy. What? That's a, oh, that's a dagger. Stupid. All right, well that was fun. I think we'll leave it at that though today, because um, there's a lot of things that scare me in this game, and I don't know if I want to quite. This is the, this is the short version of a floor. Man, these things can be long anyway. Goodness me. I mean, look at this. We've already explored, well, a lot. I guess I'm still learning, so it's taking time. But anyway, this is Game Hunter. Been playing Dungeons of Dreadmore. And join me next time when we hope to complete the first floor and many more, hopefully without dying. I know I'm on hardest difficulty, but darn it, I'm an adventurer. Look at that guy. He is an adventurer. Quite. All right, so yeah, until next time, keep playing those roguelikes, everyone. And take care.